Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to get column names along with the duplicate columns from Excel. Here you can see we have this Excel file and in this one we have two columns that are duplicates. So this is the full name. Here also we are getting full names. This is the state code. Here also we are getting a state code. So if you want to read this excel data and you want to get all the column names which is showing here then how can you do that in the previous video i have shown that how to get column names so that will just give you the column names here but if we have the duplicate columns also available in that excel file then we'll get an error let me show you how we get an error so if I'm going to use read range activity and I'm going to select that Excel file and this is the C2, C2 and let me delete this. So earlier we didn't have any duplicate columns so that's why we were not getting error but if we have duplicate column names available in that excel file then we'll be getting error here let me show you here so let me now save and close this one and let me run this so what will happen while running this activity this read range activity will get this error you can see we'll be getting one error here and that is a read range a column named full name already belongs to this data table currently we are getting only this column name that shows that we already have this one but if we'll delete this might be we can have other column names so as i have already shown you in that excel file that we have one more column that is duplicate that is a state code so how can we get all the column names let me show you if you don't have any duplicate column names so we'll directly able to read this excel file and we can get that column names you can see it worked fine right and we can get all the column names we don't have any duplicate column name so how can we get all the column names even if we have duplicate columns so do not use read range type here read row so take here read row i'm going to use this workbook activity now select that excel file and enter that seat name so we have c2 in this c2 we have duplicate column names now type here that a starting sale number so starting sale we are going to take a1 our column names are starting from cell A1. So we'll take here A1 and then we'll store this in one variable and that will be a collection of rows. You can see this will be IU numerable of object. It means array of a string like that, array of object. So we already have this created data row. Now take here for each this activity for each activity and type here that data row dt underscore data row that is the i numerable of object now take here right line and this right line i'm just using just to list out all the column names and you'll see here it will take all the the column names here it will write here now let me run this so you can see here now we have column name that is employee id second is full name third name is a state code fourth column name again full name 
fifth column name again we have a state code so by this way we can get all the column names along with the duplicate column name and you can get all these column names and if you think that it has a duplicate if you want to remove the last two it means the duplicate one from the last you can remove or like you can work on this you can change the name like from full name to only name from a state code to only a state so that you can make it unique and you can work on that so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you